Hello, in this video, we're going to go over how we added a 7 wire wiring trailer hookup harness to our Prevo bus. This is a 1981. One of the issues we ran into in these buses, and probably a lot of the older buses, your wiring, I think they're called a three wire system. And basically, what you're trying to do is by three wires, you have your turn signals, parking lights, and brake lights, and they're all on a separate wire. So you've got three wires that control this. When you go into your newer cars and your trucks, and your, especially your trailers, you're basically to a two-wire system. So you have your tail lights, your signal lights, and your brake lights are combined. So it could be, some call it a combined system, some call it a two-wire system. And so basically what we wanted to do is we want to be able to tie into the wires back here. Now, in this bus, the wires are right here on the inside. They're easy to get to, or there is a panel in here, which we could do as well. But to do this, we're just going to tie into the wires because somebody else had already tried to do this with a six pin connector, but there are some issues with it. And one of the issues, our biggest issue is your turn signals and your tail lights will work fine. However, your brake signals, since they're on a separate thing and they don't integrate with your turn signals, do is you could run your brake lights one into your left and one into your right turn signal wiring on your trailer. That, I mean, that's really a bad idea. That, that could get you home if you went to pick up a trailer or something like that and you need to get home. The problems you're going to have is when you match your brake lights, then it's going to override your turn signals if you got them on. And then the other thing is also you're going to have a signal that back feeds into your turn signals. Or if you hit your turn signals, then it's going to back feed into your vehicle's brake light system, which is well, obviously it's not good and it can cause some problems. Now, what you could do that. You could, to prevent the back feed, you could use a diode, a blocking diode, but still you're going to have the problem with the override, like your brakes are going to override your signal lights and whatnot, and you don't, you really don't want that. The other issue that we we found because we did test the wiring with a plug and just wired them in separately to test it. What we noticed is this: when you're talking about the running lights on these older buses. And maybe all the buses. I'm not sure. This is the only. This is the first one we've had. But you've got three light fixtures down the side. Three on the other side. You've got two back here. So that's a total of ten. You've got two bulbs in each one of these fixtures. So that's a total of twenty bulbs. And they're usually old bulbs. And what I noticed is when I hooked up to the trailer, the lights would go out every minute and a half, two minutes. And then all of a sudden they would come back on. So I traced the. I traced the wires up to our wiring panel on the front left hand side of the bus and what I found is it's got an automatic uh, reset circuit up there and basically you've touched the wires in there were getting extremely hot so thankfully it did have a circuit breaker up there that was tripping when it was getting overly hot and pulling too much and it would set for it would take about a minute and a half two minutes and then it would come back on and it took me a, a bit to find that so basically what we have is, as far as our running lights go, I don't think it's a good idea to tie into your existing system when you got your trailer lights as well, because you're you're pulling another seven amps there, and if you don't have the right, um, unfortunately you have a break rate like this, you can start a fire, you know, short it out, melt a wire, short it out, whatnot. So basically, also in this video, we're gonna do, we're gonna create a, we're gonna come up with a 30 amp relay that ties into our running lights, which will then have its own power source to power a trailer. Now the one thing that we are gonna do that may help this and could help you bypass all this together is we did order LED uh, lights for this. And these are, uh, I think a BL9S. I'll post a link to them. But going from uh, the old incandescent um, lights to an LED light on all these, taking 20 down to that would be a huge power savings, I'm assuming. And then we could put LED lights in our trailer. But still, I'm gonna go ahead and, and wire it with the relay and our own power source back there, and that way we'll never have an issue with up here of losing lights on our, on our vehicle or potentially overheating the circuit or anything like that. So with that, in this video, what we're gonna do is, um, this is the first time doing it, our parts are coming in piece by piece, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and work out all the kinks, uh, and then we'll come back and give you a recap and show you what, how we did all of it, and then we'll give you all the parts uh, and what to do and what to order them from if you want to do this yourself. okay so here's our initial setup um, ignore the mess we've got right now because basically we just want to tie into a, a positive source a ground 
and then we wanted to mount our a relay. Um, this is a relay. It's kind of cool. It's got a 30 amp uh, fuse on it. Uh, it. It comes with its own wiring harness that plugs into the relay. Uh, you'll notice right here uh, what we did is we took a piece of aluminum, uh, a little rectangular piece, probably, I don't know, six by eight or something like that, and we bolted it onto the back of the bus to give ourselves a panel, um, and we bolted our relay on here. And um, you can look right here. These things are awesome. These are Wirefly uh, ring connect uh, set of, it's like a set of 540 ring connectors and all kinds of connectors, and they're waterproof. Um, you got their built-in shrink uh, got the shrink on them heat those up and they shrink up nicely and they work awesome with the tool you can buy a tool as well um, and it's color coded <laughs> actually so the yellow is like 10 to 12 gauge blue is um, six, 14 to 16 and red is 21 to 26 gauge uh, these things are awesome the ring terminals they got different size of ring terminals like 5 16 3 8 a quarter I think um, you can get the box. Here's what they look like on Amazon. I'll post the link. But they're just they're really great. And so what we'll do now is we've got our red going into our I think that's the 30, and then our ground over here, which I think is 87. Again, look at your wired diagrams. We'll try to verify this if we recall. And then these are the two that get jumper or gets relayed. So the white um, is the one that's going to be the excite wire. Um, this is the one we'll connect to our tail lights, and when the tail lights comes on, we'll get 12 volts in here, and it'll basically open up the relay for that, and it should pull the pull the power from this uh, 12 gauge piece of wire, and it should take the load off of our our parking lights here on our way down side of the bus. And the goal is, is when we get this hooked up, we can plug the thing in, and we won't trip our our circuit breaker. I'll go ahead and show you how to test this. I'll, I'll get a power probe, which is awesome as well. We'll we'll put power to this one. We'll put a test light on this one. Okay, we have our power probe. We've hooked our power probe up to our positive and ground, so it works now. And these things are awesome. If you haven't used them, a friend of mine told me about them, and I'm learning more and more about them. And basically, we, you hook them up to a power source, and you have the option with this button here. You can, if you're trying to like see what a wire does, you can go into a, a panel and you can push the button and it'll give it 12 volts or whatever you're connected to. You can also reverse it and you can go ground whatever you're touching out. So in this case right here, what we're going to do is we're going to put our test light on our, our light out to our trailer tail lights and then we're gonna, also this is going to be in from our tail lights and you should see it. You should see this light come on. See there? I don't know if you can hear it as well, but you can hear the relay closing. And there we have it. So now we know we've got our relay wired up correctly. Um, what we need to do is get, catch this wire that somebody else had tied into our tail lights, and we'll bring this tail light out. We're not going to bring it directly into that. We're going to bring it into our rings uh, device here. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but basically this allows us to combine lights and then go from a three wire system to a two wire. So basically we'll bring our we'll bring our tail, our brake our left and right turn signals into one and then basically they'll come out combined. Um, this is, comes with a four pin so if you want to use a four pin you can. We've already got ours wired up into a six pin so what we'll do is we'll tie into our six pin um, and it should go out there and then once we get that set up uh, we will test. Uh, we'll go ahead and wire this up, get everything sorted out for you and come back and show you the results. Okay, now with everything wired up, we've got our brake lights on, we've got our turn signals on, everything's working on the truck. We haven't had anything get hot and short out and recycle, so reset or trip or breaker. So it looks like a success. So basically everything we did right here, basically we separated our parking lights from our main circuit in the truck and run them off a of new hot wire to the rear and everything's working great and also now we have a brake lights on and our signal lights work on the trailer so we have our left as well we got some lights out on the bus but everything is working like it should we've got a rental lights down on the sides um, we, get, we have our trailer lights 
so everything was a success and and we took some load off up our bus wiring system the reason for this video is I called several places I called e-trailers I called Hopkins I called a couple of manufacturers and none of them really even though I explained the detail of what it was I had separate par parking lights signal lights and brake lights and I was having a thing going it you know I needed to get them pared down into a combined system like a trailer none of them could really tell me for sure if it worked or not um, they gave me some bits and pieces and said they thought this would work they wouldn't work so I went on Amazon because of the return policies and I ordered the Reese and the Reese looked like it had the diagram that looked like it was going to work and I get here and basically it does uh, again our wiring We'll go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. This is not a how to make a wiring look pretty. This is basically trying to accomplish something that I was having a hard time finding some information on. And we wanted to combine our three wire system into our trailer's wiring to a seven way plug. And then also on top of that, when we did just try to test the wiring, we found that running our running lights with all 20 bulbs connected into our trailer, which has got another to you know 10 bulbs it was causing the breaker to overheat draw too much current and shut off so basically you don't want to have that you don't want to be going down the road and your lights going on and off at night so what we did with this so we, the other obstacle we had to overcome is we wanted to tie into our, all of our lights brake turn and signal we want to have a, a separate system where it doesn't overdraw on our tow vehicle or tow wing vehicle. So there you have it. If you have any questions, post below. This was my first time doing this, and I was in a hurry, and I was trying to get ready to go to the mountains this weekend, and this is what I came up with. And very happy that it came up and worked the first time out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, if it helped you at all, please, all the links to all the products we use are below. Please click on those links. If you're going to purchase and purchase them through Amazon <clears throat> via these links, they give us a commission. It helps us do these videos. It helps us with our racing. It helps us do everything we do. So thanks for your time. If you like, please like and subscribe.